Everybody RPG here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up and map a Xbox controller on Botticera. So let's get started. All right, so you can see I have a Xbox controller here. So in order to map this with Botticera, we first need to open up our main menu. So if you're using the keyboard, hit your space bar. If you're using a gamepad controller that's already been set up and configured, then go ahead and hit the start button on that. That's going to open up your main menu here. So we're going to go into controller settings, third option down, and select that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the top option, which says configure a controller. And again, this is just the mapping portion. So if you have an Xbox style controller that's Bluetooth, you are going to have to pair that prior to going through this mapping process. So we get this little prompt up here on the screen. We're just going to select OK. And you're going to notice here it says one gamepad detected. Now, if you're using a gamepad controller to access your main menu so far, this will likely say two gamepads detected. In this case, for me, I'm using a keyboard. So this is the only controller that I have attached to my gaming PC running Botticera right now. So I'm going to hold down any button on here. I'll just hold down the A. You're going to notice that the name of this controller populates in the bottom of this rectangle and then brings us into our configuring page. So it said generic Xbox pad. And here we are in our configuring page. So what we need to do now is we need to assign the functions on screen to the buttons on the gamepad controller here. So for up, down, left, and right, that's referring to the D-pad here. So for up, we're going to hit D-pad up. For down, we're going to hit D-pad down. For left, we're going to hit D-pad left. And for right, we're going to hit D-pad right. For start, I'm going to hit this button right here. You can do this however you want with the buttons in the center of your gamepad controller. So start will be there for me. Select is going to be this one. And now for A, B, X, and Y, this is where people get confused because if you notice the labeling here and we look on screen, it doesn't match up with the diagram on the screen. So the best way to do this is we're going to ignore the letter assignments on screen and we're going to go off of that diagram to the left of the uh, letters. So for A, we're going to hit our B button on our controller. Again, going with the diagram there. For B on screen, we're going to go with A on our controller. For X on screen, we're going to go with Y on our controller. And for Y on screen, we're going to go with X on our controller. For left analog up, we're going to take our left analog and go up. For left, we're going to go left. For right analog up, we'll go up. For right analog left, we'll go left. And now for L1, we're going to hit L1, R1, R1. For L2, we'll pull our left trigger. And for R2, we're going to pull our right trigger. And now for L3, we're going to push in our left analog stick. For R3, we're going to push in our right analog stick. And now for the hotkey, I typically go with the same assignment that I used for select. You can utilize you know, some of these extra buttons in here if you want to do that. Whatever you want to do, totally up to you. I'm going to give that dual assignment to the select button. And all that means is when we want to exit a game, we hit select and start at the same time that activates that dual function of the select button as the hotkey. So select by itself is still going to function as select, but along with the start button, it's going to enable us to exit our game. So now in order to confirm everything, we're going to hit OK. In order to do that, we're going to hit our A button right here. And once you get back to this page, you'll notice D-pad up and down navigates the list. Same thing with our left analog stick. And if we back out with B, we can go through all of our different collections here on Bob Sarah. So let's jump into a game real quick just to test this out. Let me find something where we utilize all of these functions so we can better test and make sure that everything is good to go here. So I'm going to actually, it's an Xbox controller. So let's jump into an Xbox game. Let me just navigate to that collection, which should be right up here. All right, so here we are in Amped 2.
me. This is gonna look rough. And to exit, hotkey, which is select and start. So all good here, everything's working beautifully. So as you can see from this video, super easy process to get your Xbox controller up and running on Botticera. Be sure to hit me up in the comments section if you have any questions whatsoever. Always happy to help out any way I possibly can. But that's going to do it for today. So you know the deal. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful today. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos. I do a ton of stuff based around retro gaming here on the Retro Pie Guy YouTube channel. Tutorials, gameplay demos, product reviews, forgotten favorites YouTube series every week. Tons of great content on here, so definitely subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.